Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Uh, so yeah, today we're looking at the Logitech Crayon. Um, I bought the Crayon instead of the Apple Pencil uh, because, well, I'm not an artist anyway, but um, it's a load cheaper, you know, considerably cheaper, like like almost half price. I got this from one of those Amazon warehouse deals, you know, it was like uh, 50 quid. Uh, so, I mean, it's perfect. The, the packaging was slightly dinted, you know. Anyway, um, major differences are, of course, that this will only work with the iPad 9.7 2018. So make sure you check the model. It will only work with this one iPad. That is it. And it will work with multiple versions of this <laughs> iPad, not just my particular iPad. But anyway, the other reason as well is I wanted um, uh, some sort of stylus that was going to be more accurate than like uh, just one of these uh, uh, capacitive resistance ones, you know. And this seemed like a good good thing. I did a bit of research, you know, as you do on the YouTubes. And uh, yeah, I mean, this got really good reviews. I mean, it uses Apple technology inside, even though it's Logitech. Apple let Logitech use their... Their stuff inside, and the only thing that this won't do that the pencil will do that the Apple pencil will do is this does not respond to pressure sensitivity. Okay, so you know, pressing harder won't make any difference, and that's why I guess for artists, the pencil would be the best thing. But since I don't do any art at all, um, this is absolutely fine for me, and it and it really does work great. So it pairs. Uh, it doesn't use Bluetooth. It just uses some other form of technology. To turn it on, you just hold it and it will illuminate. The LED will illuminate green like that. And then you're sort of, uh, why are you not good to go? Have I turned it off? Yeah, there you go. It was already on. I turned it off. So there you go. Uh, so that's how you do. You just turn it on and turn it off. It won't roll off because it's a flat design. Another thing, I think it was made for schools and colleges and universities and things where they could have like a million of these, you know, and cut down the risk of them getting broken. Um, it's very, very, very responsive. But the main reason I got this was because with uh, doing the music apps and stuff, to be able to point clearly and uh, more clearly uh, for people to see what we're doing. So say we're in something like AUM here. When you open up things like this, the dynamics controls and stuff like this, sometimes it's hard to see straight away with my finger. It's kind of like i am not got no, no real accuracy yet with the pen. With the crayon, I can be as accurate as I like, and it's really easy. And it, like I said, it's super fast, super responsive. It's, it's really good. So for that kind of thing, it's absolutely epic. Um, and for the other stuff, like, for instance, this, this app here, Cyclop by Sugar Bites. The, the thing with this is it's got, it's got really small controls, as you can see, but being able to just point to something for, for a, a viewer to see and, uh, understand, look, see, we're going to move this one here like this, or we're going to do this or... You know, we're going to move this control or this control or whatever. Well, this it's very, very accurate and really easy to use. It's super fast. It's, it does no lag. And everything you point at just works. And also, that I mean, I'm not really a game player. Me and Joe like to play this game uh this 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 uh, snooker game but for this it's really cool as well but is it if you were showing someone just to move it around like this i mean it's really it's really good and quite the uh quite the fun experience you can really get accurate control which is nice what a break Although Joe probably go in and pot that now. But anyway, so there's that as well. And so for anything like this, it's great. And of course, if you do wanna, if you do wanna draw, it's it's awesome. Now I did download a uh, Silk 2 Generative Art. Let me wipe that screen. Silk 2 Generative Art because it looked fun as well. And I wanted to something. And I'm I, I was so impressed with this app. Um 
that I've made a piece of backing music and I'm going to do quick, a little video just demoing actually um, this this particular <laughs> this particular app just for fun because I think it's lovely. Look at that. That's lovely. Of course, this doesn't need, you know, you can use your finger with these apps as well. But basically, that's why I got one. I got it to help with the... Um, with the tutorials and stuff, you know, because sometimes it's easier to point than when you put your finger over something, you know, and you, it, it kind of all gets lost in translation. Sometimes people have said, you know, I'm not really sure what you were actually pressing there or or whatever, stuff like that, you know. So for that's the reason, that's the reason I got it. And like I said, the price was obviously a big thing, obviously, Eventually, the tip will wear down. But, I mean, to be fair, how long is that going to take if I'm not going to, um, you know, what's it? Um, so, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to be hammering this thing. But I do like the experience. It's very, very smooth, uh, very, very fast, very responsive. Uh, it charges via the – what's another thing I liked, actually? It charges via the lightning connector here. So all you need to do to charge is just actually plug it into your uh, wall socket, like lightning connect the cable that charge. And they charge very, very quickly, you know. I mean, we're talking like an hour and it's got a full charge. And I think the uh, thing was about, I don't know, did it say something like seven hours of continuous writing or something? But, uh, hey, you know, I'm not going to be writing for seven hours. <laughs> but uh, just to, uh, I'll need to switch it back on. It's been on charge. There you go. So, yeah, brilliant. I really like it. Logitech Crayon. Um, I think, Like I said, I think Apple originally designed this for use in schools and then uh, it rolled out to the public uh, not too long ago. I think as an alternative to the pencil, it's superb. Like I said, it uses the same technology. Your biggest... Cons are that it is um what it only works with the iPad 9.7 2018s isn't the entry level iPad it's the cheaper iPad you know the cheapest one that you can get but the, make sure that the model is you know make sure that you are sure that this works with the iPad you've got it will not work with an Air or anything like that I'm not even sure if it works with the Pros so you know the higher models. However, it does work with this, and it works really well. The other um, con was, obviously, the pressure sensitivity is not there. It does support, if you're drawing, it does support the tilt function as well. It feels very, very good. It's quite, you know, substantial. It's not like you think, oh, that's cheap. It feels really nice. It's got this kind of silky kind of sheen to it. It's really lovely. Um I, very impressed, really, really impressed. I think, I think definitely for my videos anyway, for showing people the the, the the you know the music apps and stuff. I think it will be extremely useful. Uh, at pointing to things, uh, and a lot easier than, you know. Just being able to uh, you know point with your finger and having to move your finger away and that kind of annoys people sometimes as well and i don't like screen recording i don't i just don't like it i don't get on with it like so you know i don't do it. but i do like the i do like the ability to be able to go oh look there's me i couldn't with this i couldn't i just touch it enough to do this but to be able to just point and go oh look look what we're doing there there's there's accurate for you we got this you know we can move it around and stuff uh like that and uh yeah so i mean you know it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I really like it. So there's the Logitech crayon and the reasons why I bought one. And uh, if if you're a, a you know, it's like I say, the, the most important thing is it, it's nothing to do with art because I'm not an artist. I don't, I don't draw or I don't even sketch. You know, I just uh, use the music apps and stuff and play very, very few games. I play pinball and snooker occasionally, you know. And, um, but I think, I think it's lovely. Yeah, I really do. I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased. I mean, you know, and if I didn't like it, I could have sent it back, you know, so I didn't like it. But I actually do. I really like it. I think it's great. And I, 
I'm looking forward to um, being able to, you know, show people more accurately certain things because I've got a video planned up for Ego. It's a massive tutorial, full on with teaching you everything. I'll quickly show you this, and you'll you'll see what I mean when I open it up. That um, it's quite the app when it comes to what's going on on screen. So being able to point very accurately to certain areas of the app and, and also have the actually pinpoint accuracy, no messing around. You know, you touch on what you need and it's, you know, you have the control straight on there, which is really, really nice indeed. Very, very happy. Logitech Crayon. Uh, cool Beans, I'd re proper recommend this. It's an alternative to the pencil. Like I said, if you're a proper artist, you're, you know, if you're drawing for a living or you know, press your sensitivity, um, yeah, I mean, there is, a, a, there is a music app, and I guess more apps eventually will have kind of different things for pencil support. There is a, an app called Pentabo, which I shall be demoing if I can, but that does allow for pressure sensitivity, but it also allows for tilt and all the rest of it and movement, and it's designed for the Apple Pencil. So I'm sure it'll work to a degree bar the pressure sensitivity with the Logitech Crane. Listen, guys, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Know that your Logitech Crayon will work great with other apps, not just for your drawing apps as well, uh, which is the reason I bought it. Um, and, uh, yeah, brilliant. If you like the video, like I said, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a patron uh, for as little as a dollar one, and I will see you guys later. Okie dokie. Ta-ta.